um, I wanted to come on here and make a small video. Um, not not very long. I I honestly don't plan for this to be any more than like five minutes or so. But um, I know that the title might sound a bit harsh, but that's just me being very candid, very truthful. Um, let me let me start this off by saying something really simple. Um, because I know some people are going to come on the channel are gonna not come on the channel come onto this video not knowing who i am which is fine you don't need to know who i am that's cool i just hope you hear me out more than like the first however many seconds but Corey is my favorite youtuber of all time um and it, and i'm not saying that as somebody who's new to the scene which i'm also not saying that I have any more of an opinion just because I'm an older subscriber than anybody who's newer. But since like the second grade, this dude has been my favorite. I've been on his content like that. And and I'm now in my second year of college. So that's that's just what I'm gonna say with that. His this dude's whole personality, Corey's whole personality, his energy is one of the reasons why I want to do YouTube because I'm like, dang, I want to make people feel happy like this. I want to make them glad, you know? Um, that being said, I don't care if Corey comes back to YouTube. And I know a lot of YouTubers right now at the moment are, uh, are quitting, leaving, retiring, but that's because they have their own lives let's just say how it is i mean a lot of people a lot of people especially those who are um younger or i'm not sure exactly what words i'm looking for but those who are younger and those who really crave their content forget it but they have their own lives they are not just this this rectangle right here on your screen and i know a lot of people let's just be honest i know a lot of people quite honestly if they were if they were truly honest they would say that they don't care um that they just want the content that they just want uh people to come back and i want i understand one in that like that <laughs> that energy back from that specific person because everybody in their own way Every single person on this planet has their own type of energy, their own unique flair to whatever it is that they're going to do. So I understand that. But at the same time, it's their life and it's their choices. And let's not sit here and pretend like Corey hasn't done some incredible things on his channel, hasn't given a full 110%. I feel like there is some things to be said about the way that Corey has managed his content in a way. And I also would be lying if I said that I didn't want him to come back at least and at least say goodbye. Um, like, hey, I'm retiring. Like, he even said that before. What was it? His 7 million special where he was like, it's now a good time as any that I'm going to announce my retirement or whatever. It would be cool if he did come back and do that, but he doesn't he doesn't have to. We should not feel entitled enough in any way, shape, or form to say that um, he owes us that much. Let's be real. Through all the times that he has turned on the camera, or any YouTuber for that matter, has turned on their camera to give us happiness, to give us their time, their effort, and make us joyful, they don't owe us a thing in, in terms of that. I know a lot of people will also reply to that by saying, well, we subscribed, we watched the uh, the videos, we um, essentially, we essentially gave him money, gave any of them money. So, because you willingly watch somebody's videos, because you know that they made you happy and you enjoyed their content and their effort, that means that they owe you anything, despite the fact that they 
do again, do again, do again, create more, create more, record, edit, publish, record, edit, publish. No. These are human beings behind these screens. So if Corey never comes back, if Corey logs out of Instagram, logs out of YouTube, Twitter, whatever else, and says, well, that's the end of my career. I've, I've put it all out there. That's my work. We honestly, honestly, I do not believe in the slightest that we should be upset about that. We shouldn't. Because like I said, these are people behind these screens and they have their own lives. They have their own personal things going on in their life for better or for worse. So we do not need to, nor are we entitled to say that we should be there every step of the way or whatever they're going through, whatever decisions that they make. So, so honestly, yeah, um, I'm, I mean, I just, I've been really thinking about making this video for a while and just saying whatever I wanted to say, whatever I thought of in the process of doing this, because I'm not, I'm honestly not the type of person who's going to try to make videos that are trending um and i don't want people to think that that's why i'm doing this because if i wanted to make videos that were trending um then my content my my channel i mean would be in a completely different stage for better or for worse and ultimately i just make content that i want to make that's my thing and uh cory is one of the elites of youtube like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Corey, Pewds, Mr. Beast, all of them, the elites of YouTube, like top class, along with Matt Pat, Miss Matt Pat, now that he's retiring too. So it's kind of hard to not make a video on a subject like this, when especially when I'm direct enough to say, talk about my favorite YouTuber specifically, and then, and then it somehow not being in a trending topic especially since for the past month or so Corey has been trending and people have been kind of getting irritated getting flustered but you need to leave the man alone so yeah that's that's just all i'm gonna say about that um just treat each other fairly and treat each other with respect